This video will cover the important points for IL-12 receptor deficiency to prepare for the USMLE Step 1 exam. There will be some questions at the end. IL-12 receptor deficiency is a rare autosomal recessive genetic disorder that affects the immune system. It is estimated to affect fewer than 1 in 1 million people worldwide. It is caused by mutations in the IL-12 Airbay-1 gene, which encodes a protein involved in the signaling pathway for the cytokine IL-12. IL-12 is important for activating T-cells and natural killer cells, which are crucial for fighting infections. IL-12 deficiency leads to low Th1 response. IL-12 receptor deficiency results in decreased production of the cytokine interferon gamma, which is important for fighting infections caused by mycobacteria and fungi, causing patients to be susceptible to disseminated mycobacterial and fungal infections. It may present after the administration of the BCG vaccine. Symptoms can include recurrent infections, especially of the skin and lungs, as well as other immune-related problems, such as inflammatory bowel disease. IL-12 receptor deficiency is the most common cause of Mendelian susceptibility to mycobacterial diseases, MSMD, a group of rare genetic disorders that affect the immune system's ability to fight mycobacterial infections. Treatment for IL-12 receptor deficiency typically involves antibiotics and antifungal medications to manage infections, as well as immunoglobulin replacement therapy to boost the immune system, such as a supplement of interferon gamma. In some cases, bone marrow transplantation may be an option for people with severe IL-12 receptor deficiency. IL-12 receptor deficiency is one of the T-cell disorders listed in the first aid book. Please review. Rewatching this short video will help stick the details in the memory. Now, let's try some questions. A 10-year-old child presents with recurrent skin and lung infections. The patient's medical history reveals that the child had received the BCG vaccine at birth. Laboratory studies show decreased production of interferon gamma. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. B. X-linked agammaglobulinemia. C. IL-12 receptor deficiency. D. Chronic granulomatous disease. A 10-year-old child presents with recurrent skin and lung infections. The patient's medical history reveals that the child had received the BCG vaccine at birth. Laboratory studies show decreased production of interferon gamma. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. B. X-linked agammaglobulinemia. C. IL-12 receptor deficiency. D. Chronic granulomatous disease. This is an easy one. Which of the following is the most common cause of Mendelian susceptibility to mycobacterial diseases? A. Deficiency of complement component C5. B. Deficiency of CD18 integrin. C. Deficiency of IFN gamma receptor. D. Deficiency of IL-12 receptor. The answer is, D. Deficiency of IL-12 receptor. This question asks about the most common cause of Mendelian susceptibility to mycobacterial diseases, MSMD, a group of rare genetic disorders that affect the immune system's ability to fight mycobacterial infections. MSMD is typically caused by mutations in genes involved in the production or response to interferon gamma, such as the genes for IL-12 receptor, interferon gamma receptor, and other components of the interferon gamma signaling pathway. Therefore, the correct answer is D, deficiency of IL-12 receptor. A 6-year-old child presents with recurrent skin and respiratory tract infections. Laboratory studies reveal decreased production of interferon gamma. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial treatment for this patient? A. Antibiotics and antifungal medications. B. Immunoglobulin replacement therapy. C. Corticosteroids. D. Bone marrow transplantation. The answer is A. Antibiotics and antifungal medications. This question describes a child with recurrent infections and decreased production of IFN gamma. Antibiotics and antifungal medications are the most appropriate initial treatment for this patient to manage the current infections. Immunoglobulin replacement therapy may also be used to boost the immune system. Corticosteroids and bone marrow transplantation are not indicated in the initial treatment of IL-12 receptor deficiency. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Antibiotics and antifungal medications. A 4-year-old child presents with recurrent respiratory tract infections and inflammatory bowel disease. 
Genetic testing confirms a diagnosis of IL-12 receptor deficiency and T-cells. Treatments of which of the following most likely to improve the patient's condition? A. Interferon gamma. B. Immunoglobins. C. IL-4. GMCSF. E. Early complement components. The answer is, A. Interferon gamma. The question describes a child with recurrent respiratory tract infections and inflammatory bowel disease who was diagnosed with IL-12 receptor deficiency based on genetic testing and T-cell analysis. IL-12 receptor deficiency results in decreased production of interferon gamma, which is important for fighting infections caused by mycobacteria and fungi. Therefore, the most appropriate supplement for this patient would be interferon gamma, which can help boost the immune response to these types of infections. The other answer choices are not indicated for the treatment of IL-12 receptor deficiency or the management of infections in this patient. Immunoglobins may be used in the treatment of IL-12 receptor deficiency, but they are not the best choice for this particular presentation of the disease. IL-4, GMCSF, and early complement components are not involved in the immune response to mycobacteria and fungi and are not typically used to treat IL-12 receptor deficiency. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Interferon gamma. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.